Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chandrika and this is Rika Life. So in my last video, I showed you the shawls that I'm working on and now I actually want to um, change pace and I want to show you some of my long-term whips, my works in progress. Um, these are two projects that I have started probably two or three months ago and I know they're going to be ongoing for the next couple months because, you know, uh, these are larger projects, they're repetitive projects, and I can sit down and knock out a couple rows here and there. Um, but of course, I have many other projects going on in between, so I'm not working on these on a consistent basis. I'm kind of just picking them up when there's a slow period or I don't feel like working on something where I have to look at the pattern or something more intricate. So I'm going to show you the two projects that I'm talking about. You might have seen my project bags in the background. These are from Vera Bradley. I love their totes. Um, they were having a sale, I think, in December. And so I went in into the store and I chose them. I, I just like to be there in the store. And I like to be able to see all their patterns and designs and then choose. And these become my project bags. So this is the first project I'm going to show you. Ooh. It is quite big, so I can't open up the whole project here because it is, as I said, quite big, but this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I did actually make a short with this um, blanket as well, so you might have seen that. Um, so this is going to be a very, very big blanket. It's going to be, I think, about a queen size bed size. And I wanted to show you the yarn. This is the line brand Mandala Ombre yarn. And this is the color Pure. Uh, this yarn has 344 yards or 5.3 ounces. It's 100% acrylic. Um, it's a medium weight four and it suggests an eye or 5.5 millimeter hook. And that is what I'm using. I'm using an eye 5.5 millimeter hook by Susan Bates. This is supposed to be pink, but because I've used it so much, uh, the color is fading away, but it still works great. So I actually just keep that hook in here with my project bag. Um, this yarn keeps changing colors. It goes from light pinks to dark pinks to light blues to dark blues. And I actually, I think I bought three skeins at Joann's and then Michael's had it, either it was on sale, It was there was some deal. And so I actually ended up purchasing, I think, 12 more skeins from Michael's. So I had a total of 15 skeins. Um, and I think I still have about eight to go. So there's quite a bit more to go. Um, this stitch is a, a double crochet cluster stitch. And it's a blanket pattern by Nastasia on YouTube. And I'm going to give you the link below to that. Um, it's a very short video, but she... Uh, describe the repeat that has to be used and basically the stitch and it's very repetitive so I love it I can just pick it up and I can knock out a couple rows and I feel like I'm making progress um you might have seen a lot of my smaller projects and smaller works in progress that I've been working on in the last past few videos um, but I also like to have some big projects so it's quite substantial right now that's why it's all folded up so that's the first project that I wanted to show you and let me just put this away and I'm going to show you the next project, which is even bigger. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the second project. This is another tote from Vera Bradley. I thought it was so pretty. It actually gives me inspiration too for um, my own projects because it has some pinks and blues in it, which was actually almost exactly the colors I showed you in the last, for the last blanket. So this one is done with a blanket or chenille yarn as they call it. And this is what it's looking like. So because it's such a bulky yarn, I'm actually not working into the tops of the stitches. I'm actually working in between the stitches from the row below, which makes it much easier to see where you need to stitch next. Um, this is actually also quite big. It's getting there. 
Uh, this will not be a queen size, um, but this both of these blankets actually are being made uh, just to have to to throw over the couch and to just snuggle in as you're, you know, sitting with your family. So I'm going to show you the yarn as well. So as I mentioned, um, this is from Joann's and this is the Big Twist Cuddle. Uh, the price on this keeps changing, but one day I went to Joann's and this yarn was on sale for $5. Okay, I think regularly it's about $11.99. I've seen it down to sale for maybe $9.99 and I got it for $5. So I think I bought all eight skeins they had in this color and this color is gold. It's pretty much a blanket yarn. It's, it says it's a number six, super bulky, and it recommends an L, L uh, eight millimeter hook. Um, it is 220 yards, 100% polyester. Um, and I fell in love with this color. They only had a couple of colors. They had like white and gold. They didn't have enough white skeins. I wanted enough skeins to make a big blanket. So I have four more full skeins and this is this is almost close to half um and i'm going to be working on this again this is just another project to work on in between other things um but i'm falling in love with it it's really really soft because it's polyester um and this is a pattern on youtube i don't know the name of the pattern but it's a chenille yarn pattern I will put it in the description box below and you can see it. It's a really easy repeat and it's a no brainer. Um, it's just using half double crochets and then there's like a chain two at the end of each row. Um, I am using stitch markers and I'm just using a stitch marker at the end to mark off that chain two, just so I know that I need to work into the gap right before it and that I know where the end of the row is so I'm not adding or subtracting stitches. So far, it's been pretty good. I haven't, um, it's still keeping its shape. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, this one is going to be, it's not heavy, but it's going to be even more substantial as I add uh, four more, four and a half more skeins to it. Um, I had never really used this color. To me, it felt like kind of like a mustardy yellow color. It felt like a happy color to me. I know it is gold. Um, but I just thought it was, it was nice and this is just something nice to snuggle in um, as you're sitting on the couch and spending time with family. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, share and subscribe and definitely leave me a comment if you've used these yarns before or you know if you have any questions about the patterns. Um, I'd love to help. Um, I hope you have a wonderful crocheted day and I'll see you again soon.